What's up? I'm Michelle Visa, and you're locked into Teen Talk. Teen Talk is a platform for youth to voice their opinions on issues that concern them. If you want to be a part of Teen Talk as a guest speaker or a student, email me at teentalkbuffalo at gmail.com. Now, today I have East High School representing, and we're talking about motivation. What's up? My name is Giovanna Dobbs. I am currently in ninth grade, and I'm 15 years old. My name is Chantel Goggins. I'm in the 10th grade. Hello, everybody. My name is Daryl Cooper. I'm 10th grade. Yes, thank you for coming out today. Like I said, today's episode is about motivation. Motivation is literally the desire to do things. It's the difference between waking up in the morning before everyone else and going to get it or just laying around doing nothing all day. Motivation is needed for you to achieve your goals. All right. I know you guys are motivated because you're here today. A lot of people say, oh, I'm going to do something and then they make excuses and then they just don't show up. But like I said, I know you're already motivated. What motivates you? What inspires you even when I feel like not doing nothing my um cousins or somebody they just trying to help me push me to do it like just to go out there and go get it and you know what and Daryl you were telling me you do video skits on YouTube right mm-hmm. tell us more about that early this summer um earlier this past summer me and my cousin we just came up with the idea of just doing funny videos and posting them on YouTube mm-hmm. and um so we did that and I guess it just it like blew up you know, we started hitting 100 views and um, viewers and everything. It's just that I just wanted to be real consistent with it. Now, there was a time where I started slacking and everything. My cousin kept going, which is why he's doing better than me right mm. now. But then, like, he pushed me. Like, my last video, like, he really pushed me. Like, he was in it with me. Like, he told me, go out there, go get them viewers up, and just go dominate it. Yeah, so your cousin inspired you, motivated you to get the job done. And it's crazy because those people doing those video skits like and getting millions of views, they're getting paid off that. Like, Jess Hilarious, she's just got a show like on network television, like DC Young Fly on yeah. Wild and, you know what I mean? TRL, they're doing major things. So keep up the good work with that. All right, what inspires you, Gia? My mother, my father, and the whole family because when I'm down or upset about something they always there for me and tells me stuff that I need to know and I need to learn from my mistakes and I I love them for that definitely family is motivation like through siblings your mother your father anybody in positive in your life can motivate you and definitely family you need a strong support system and foundation around you and you you will see success what inspires you Chantel my family inspires me also my music my friends and books just people that I trust and I can be around they inspire me the most Mm -hmm. Now, you're, you do music as well, too, right? Yes, I do. All right, tell us about it. I have an after-school program, and it's from 4 to 5. We make beats, and we record. Our music hasn't been out. It's basically just the inside mm-hmm. thing. But you working. Yes. G, what you been working on? I'm working on a rap with my friend Nia. Nice. It's called Lit. We're still working on it. It's a work in progress. I like how you said you're doing it Monday. You set a date. You're going to get it done. And then, hey, if you got to come back and do more, you just keep adding to it. Yeah. You guys are pretty motivated, pretty inspired. I love that you guys all have your own individual thing that you're working on. Why do you think that some young people are uninspired? Why do you think some people are just not motivated to do anything? Many people or younger people don't have much inspiration because they don't have anyone to teach them certain things or they don't have anyone they can trust or can talk to. So they feel they don't really have much to do in life. So they need someone in their life to bring them up and inspire them. I agree. Positive adults got to be there to help motivate you. I also believe that it's a person's own responsibility to be motivated and to motivate themselves. Take responsibility, you know? Daryl, what do you think? I think that it's like from their background. Because like if you growing up saying that your pops or your moms is just like not doing nothing to try and better themselves, that's going to make you think wrong about yourself if you see and hey my mom doesn't have a job or my father doesn't do anything sometimes you can kind of get in that follow suit hey i don't have to do anything in life i'm just i'm here i'm surviving i feel like certain young people may be scared to fail maybe they think that you know that's a bad thing but i feel like you have to take chances and you fall down and you get back up it's a part of life 
challenges, obstacles, overcoming the struggle, but pushing through it. You know what I mean? Like I've never been a type to give up. I don't know. You guys don't seem like y'all would give up either. Y'all will, y'all pushing towards what y'all want to do. Do you think social media plays a part in motivation or lack of motivation? Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, does that play a part in motivation? Yes, because certain people kids follow on Facebook can give them inspiration. If they don't have many people in their lives to give them inspiration, they'll find it on a social media platform or someone that they look up to on Facebook or Instagram. Like just going down Facebook, seeing posts about like here, for instance, like relationship goals. All right. Now, people look at it like, oh, that's what I want right there. But like they're not trying to go out there and get it. I agree. You got to put in that work. I feel like um, social media is like a gift and a curse. Of course, I see posts that motivate me like, oh, you know, I see people in Dubai or Africa. I want to go there. I'm inspired. I want to help people. I want to do things. But then you see a lot of negative. You see Facebook where, you know, it's people just posting nonsense. Have you just ever seen in your timeline? Like, why do I why am I friends with these people? Sometimes it's first thing in the morning and people are already started with the drama or they telling us about their day. And a lot of times, you know, they're not really doing anything. What are they talking about? Like they don't make any sense. So I say social media is a gift and a curse and it could play a part in motivation. Do Have you ever noticed how long sometimes you sit there and scroll? Like I'll sit there and scroll. By the time I look at the clock, it's like 35, 40 minutes later. I'm like, man, I wasted a lot of time. Like I could have been doing so much. Now I got to catch up. Do you think people are motivated by uh, their neighborhood and the surroundings? When they walk outside. What do you think? Gary just joined us. What's up, Gary? How was the track meet? Good. All right, all right. What you think, Gary? You think people are, are motivated by the neighborhood that they're in? Yes and no. I say yes because, like, if you if they see, like, shootings and stuff going around, like, they're going to think, like, that's so, like that's okay. Like, they can do that, too. Mm-hmm. That's why there's been, like, a lot of shootings and stuff going around. But then I say no because, like, there are some kids that, like, they're not worried about that stuff. Like, they focus on, like, school and sports and stuff. Right. Some people want to get out of that. You know what I mean? Some people glorify that lifestyle, but people really want to get out of that lifestyle. You don't want to be struggling. You don't want to live in a hood. You don't want to have to duck from gunshots. But um, when you walk around, I feel like, and not see positive people that look like us or successful people that look like us, that can motivate you to do well, push you to be a positive image. Or on the other hand, you can look and say, hey, well, I don't see anybody being positive. So there's probably not much hope for me. And I know it's hard, but you can't feel like that. Chantel, what do you think? Do you think neighborhood plays a factor in if someone is motivated or not? Yes and no. Yes, because there could be a neighborhood person that everyone looks up to. Everyone can go to their house and feel comfortable and know if there's like a lot of negative on that street and there's really no help. And like people get big and move out of their places. It'll be okay to come back and help their neighborhood get out of the predicament they're in. Yes, Chantel. Well said. Do you think that people are motivated by their parents? We, we spoke a little bit about that earlier. What do you think, G? Yes and no, because some parents really do want their kids to grow up to be successful. And no, because some parents don't care about their kids. Some some probably don't want their kids to be all that. I think it's the other way around. Like me, I get motivated from looking at parents standing mm-hmm. there, like in my life, like both of my parents do something that I really like don't want them to do that's like killing them it's just I don't want to do that like I don't want to do drugs I don't want to do any alcohol or anything I just want to I look at them and I feel like I want to be bigger than them I want to do something larger than life right that's why I'm doing YouTube and you will you will I see it you made a great point. Some people, they look at their parents and they say, hey, I'm going to be better than them. I'm going to strive to do more. And that's the attitude you got to have to win. How do you think it affects children when they don't have strong mentors or sh- strong role models in their life? How do you think that affects a young person? It makes them sad and depressed because they don't have no one to teach them wrong to right. Parents are like your first role models. They like mold you and shape you and you don't even realize it. Like, I, like I'm so much like my mom and my dad in different ways and I'm just now seeing it like as an adult. You watch their actions and sometimes that can motivate you to be like them or motivate you to do other things. Just depends on the case. All right, so do you guys have chores at home? You are still in high school. Uh, tell me some of the chores you have to do. Washing dishes. Dishes. Washing clothes, sweeping the houses, make sure your room is clean, clean the bathrooms. 
Oh, you cleaning it all. Clean the house, the porch, sweep the porch off and make sure the leaves aren't on there. Clean the backyard, wash the car, and <laughs> you know, I clean the TVs from mm-hmm. dust, mm-hmm. cleaning the couches. The money I find is mine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what you got? All I do is take out the garbage. That's about it. Okay. It's because, I mean, I come from a family of just like me and a whole bunch of girls. Like in my mom's house, it's just me and I got all sisters. So that's just I'm just taking out the garbage. Y'all do everything else. Mm, so they cooking, they're cleaning. No, no, I could cook. Oh, okay. I cook breakfast, oh, I cook weekends, I cook excuse me. Times. Alfredo, that's my favorite. You know. You said you cooking that shrimp Alfredo. What jobs you got to do? I have to do the dishes, clean the bathroom, and sometimes take out the trash. Gary, you you doing chores? What you doing? He don't do that. My chores is clean my bedroom and take out the trash sometimes. Okay, different roles. That's cool. Do you guys know like the, why you have to do chores? The importance of it, or I mean, of course, to get money or receive other rewards, but the importance of it. What you think? Why? Why you have to do the chores? Um, I think that it's preparing you to like get a place of your own someday, so that way you know how to take care of things around your house, your own household, and that way it just makes you make sure you're not like leaving trash in the garbage that's overflowing or anything. Mm-hmm. You know. And, that's it. and ladies like guys that can cook too, just for future reference. Yeah, see what I mean? Oh, hi. <laughs> yeah, my, me and my mom had a conversation a while ago, and I asked her why I had to do so much chores. And she said that um, it's for future references. You don't have to depend on anyone mm-hmm. to do it for you. You can do it yourself, and that you're experienced on it. And like for future, when she comes to my house, she don't have to do anything. I like that, Chantel. You're going to take care of your mom, make sure she's good. You all had great answers to that, by the way. And you also helping your parents out, you know? They work hard, so they, they definitely need the help. Anybody working, trying to get a job? Summer youth, tell me about it. What's your what's your job looking like? I have an interview tomorrow. Oh, yeah. And I'm... I'm looking good. It's going to be good. I don't mm. want to get this job. So you speaking into existence. I like that. She's going to get that job. What about you? I want to get, I want to be in summer youth. I want mm-hmm. to get a job in summer youth. Did you apply? Did you get your application all that stuff in? Not yet. All right. You got to hustle. I yeah. know. Yeah. You got to get it because, you know, they be cutting it off at a certain point, but make sure you get it in so you can get that job because okay. those checks are good. They're good to have. They still ain't going to spend their own money. You still going to spend your parents' money. You going to want, look, oh, I left my money at home. I left my bank card at home. I know how y'all do. <laughs> all right. What about you? What, what Are you trying to get into the workforce? I was supposed to be working summer youth, but I chose not to because I went over to my grandma house and the lady upstairs, Miss Rebecca, she was she asked my help. Well, I asked her like if she wanted my help to like guard in the front yard in the backyard. So she oh. told me, yeah. She said I pay if, I'll pay you for it during the summer. So I was like, okay. And she pays really good. Like nice. I like that, Daryl. You on your entrepreneur game right now? I recently just became an entrepreneur, and it is freeing working for yourself. But there's also a lot of discipline that goes with it. But honestly, putting your passion into something you can make money from and becoming an entrepreneur is a great way to go about things. Who about you, Gary? What you gonna do? Right now, my brother helping me get into like Sam's Club. And- That's good. Just putting in applications, just getting out there, being proactive. You know, if one job doesn't call you back, that's okay. Keep applying for the next one. How I got one job, I just kept calling every day, leaving voicemails. Okay, I'll, I'll try back Friday. All right, I'll call back Tuesday. I'll hit them up Thursday. Then they finally return that call. So just being persistent, sometimes you're not going to get any response. Sometimes people are going to ignore you. You're going to hear more no's than yes. All right, so goals. What is? What are you in life? What do you want to do? What do you see yourself in, let's say, you're 15 now, 10 years, so 25. Where do you see yourself? What do you want to be? What do you want to do? What I want to be in the future is be a forensic scientist. That one I can help my parents with money Mm -hmm. and get them in a higher house, like a rich house. Mm -hmm. I like that's my motivation. My parents making sure they don't have to work, kind of take care of them. You know, that's that's my goal too. G, I feel you on that. I want to be a future criminologist, and I've seen a lot of TV shows such as Criminal Mind, which is my (laughs) biggest, biggest inspiration. Criminal Minds is so good. I love it. It's beautiful. You don't like it? (laughs) Really? Why not? I like Law and Order. Okay. Law Law and Order is good, too. too. SVU. Yes, definitely SVU. Detective Stabler. Stabler and... 
So how would you how are you guys gonna work to get to those positions? Mainly finish high school mm-hmm. and go to a college that has programs. There is many um, things you have to do before you get to the criminology stage, like mm. psychologist and a lot of other things. I'm gonna start off real slow, make sure I get classes I need for it. Like Chantel said, I would finish high school, go to Howard, which has forensics in it be a black forensic scientist yes you know get them coins hbcu that's what i'm talking about i always wanted to experience that i never got to go to one of those colleges but i know it's an amazing experience and when you go i want you to tell me all about it call me write me let me know okay facetime me let me know what's going on all right what about you what what are your goals daryl me i just want to be an actor and like to help me i already started like doing youtube is gonna get me like out there notice and everything and um i did i performed on stage i did the august wilson monologue competition oh nice for buffalo i did the african-american history play at school and even before all this like going like in elementary i used to do i used to be in a whole bunch of plays and it's just i feel like it's getting better and better so you're putting yourself out there already so that's good so just keep going out there doing auditions applying you know even getting out of the city and doing things that's that's where it's going to be some people go to school for acting so it's amazing i'm, I'm happy you're already doing youtube keep getting those numbers up what's your new youtube channel daryl cooper d-a-r-y-l-c-o-o-p-e-r all right gary what what are your goals what do you see yourself in 10 years let's say I got like I got two decisions. Like I either want to be like to work in law enforcement, or like I want to do something that has to do like sports. Like I want to be like sports management. Mm, that's good. Good. I'm happy you have a, like a backup plan. You have a, a plan A and a plan B. That's good. That's good to have. What's your favorite sport? Because you do them all. You're you're athletic. You're an athlete. Basketball. Yeah, I love basketball too. Why do you think it's important to be a leader? We need a lot. People need to lead and not follow. You know, you have to take charge in what matters to you and be the one who decides to actually get it done. Why do you think it's important to be a leader? It's good to be a leader because people might look up to you and you might be able to inspire someone to do as you and they can inspire someone else and it can just be like a chain link. Mm -hmm. I think that being a leader could bring out the motivation in others. Like... For instance, like me in my seventh period class, me and my friends, we like to goof around and everything. But like at a certain time during the class period, I just want to go get the work done. Then after that, goof Mm -hmm. around later. Mm -hmm. And like me, once I stop goofing around, my friends stop goofing around. Once I get my homework, um, once I get my paper done, they start to get their paper done. Mm. So I just like I like that. And then after that, we just go back to goofing around for a little while. Then we done. Class is over. Yeah, ain't too hard on the teacher, are y'all? Oh no, no, no. Please don't do them teachers like that. No, we. We just like making students laugh. But that's good. You are a leader, so you you be like, hey, let me get my stuff done, and they and they they follow suit. That's good, and they follow it in a good way. I like that. Honestly, it's so much easier to get your schoolwork done, your chores done, handle your business first, then you can have time to relax. You'll have less stress this way. Trust me. All right. So a lack of motivation could come from boredom. What kind of programs or events would you like to see for people your age? What are some things you guys like to do and you wish there were more of? Programs are like tournaments. Like they just have around like Buffalo and stuff. Like, mm-hmm. like tournaments, like you really don't got to pay. But like some, some like people, I'll be seeing people be on Facebook and stuff, be wanting to go to the tournaments, but like nobody want to pay just to, to mm-hmm. play basketball. Like right. I just wish it was like free tournaments so you can like just have fun. Have you heard of AAU? Are you, do you participate in that? That league? Uh-huh. Yeah, AAU. And there's a couple others. Um, I'm going to look into that for you. There's, there's going to be a bunch of stuff going on. My, my cousin actually has Solid Prep Foundation. And he's awesome. An awesome, awesome coach. He's amazing. So I'm going I'm to hook you up with his Solid Prep Foundation. And they've been traveling. They've been traveling, playing ball. They've been competing. So there are programs out there. We just have to do a better job as a community as getting that information out to, to our children. I want Buffalo to one day just come together and put on like this big old play like just audition people in <laughs> Buffalo and just I don't know I just love acting just, right I just wanna I don't know and you know it's play uh, movies they've been shooting movies here so that's we gotta pay attention to that I'm not sure as far as under age how does that work so that's something I gotta look into but you know they shot the purge I was an extra in the purge I got me a nice check off the purge <laughs> okay I can't wait it comes out July 4th and just an extra stand, standing around and it was like um a, a party scene it was shot right off of Delavan they closed the whole um, area down so that was really cool just even get a glimpse of the side of my head if I'm in the movie just show me <laughs> if not it's still gonna be good I'll be happy 
to watch. So, and they also have like acting camps. I know that this Saturday they're supposed to be doing something. I seen this post on Facebook like they just doing auditions for like Disney Channel, Nickelodeon mm-hmm. this Saturday. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna be going there, me and my little brother, and I'm hoping my cousin go with me. Okay, that's good. That's a start. You've seen something. Keep your eye out there for that stuff and always apply. Go ahead, G. Like a forensics camp. That way you can mm. see what you need to be as a forensic scientist. And it's so many young people that love criminal minds, love law and order. If they had something like I, we went out to Hilbert not too long ago and they have like a whole like crime scene. They had the mannequin on the floor. He had like blood on the floor. Like if they did something like that, I think that, that's a great idea. I think they if they open that up to, to young adults and young people that are interested in that field, it would get them even more excited to continue to keep going. Yeah. So the forensics camp, that's awesome. I think something that'll help people that want to be in like criminologists and help them with each stage they need and extra credits and things that you can put under your belt. So when you do get to college and for the classes, you will know a little something. That will actually help your transition from high school to college and help you be more prepared. Those kind of programs will help y'all get into the field that you want to study. So basically what y'all saying, y'all, everything that y'all interested in, y'all want to participate in programs like that mm-hmm. and learn about. So that's the thing, things that you're passionate about, when you could turn that into a way to make money and your career, that's amazing. I want like something like just a, talent show let's say a talent show not like for a competition or nothing. I just like just something to bring the neighborhood the community together just to perform have a good time Daryl you might have to think about becoming your own promoter putting together your own event it's hard because people have a stigma about young people they feel when they get together that they can't gather peacefully that they're always going to be fighting one another you know sometimes oh I seen you looked at me wrong you stepped on my shoe last week we about to get it in and then it ruined the whole event for everybody mm-hmm. so it's, it's it is hard to sometimes get together and do uh, events like that but but there are a lot of events going on again we just have to do a better job as a community of getting them out there and getting them young people in there y'all go to Saturday Academy and stuff at the school and isn't it great programs there like like it's a lot going on but some people who are unmotivated are they going to show up how many people that y'all see every day that don't that don't come in on a saturday it's a lot many people i see on a regular basis they're never there like people i don't see at all are the ones that there <laughs> mm. do you think that's just because they don't know that it's offered or you think they just they're unmotivated they don't want to they're get up and do it and mm. they are tired or they're just lazy or don't have any motiv- motivation to get up out of the bed that is kind of my problem. I don't like getting out of the bed. Me either. But what we got to do? Got to get up and do what you got to do. Let me tell you, my day starts probably, if I go to my 5 a.m. workout class and my day starts at 4.50, I'm up 4.40 out like out the house. So it's like I get up very early and do multiple things during the day. But I just like I get it out the way. It's stuff that got to be handled. I can rest when I get home. I can rest later. You know what I mean? That's how I look at it. You know, somebody told me a long time ago, chill, don't pay the bills. So I got to go. You know what I mean? You you could chill later, but you got to go out and get it. All right. So what's in your playlist? In my playlist right now is J. Cole's K.O.D. album. And I've been listening to the track 1985. Have you heard that album? The album's crazy. But in my playlist right now, 1985, he's kicking a lot of knowledge to the to the youth, to the to the new school. And I'm feeling it. What's in your playlist? Actually, it's Nicki Minaj, Chun Li. Oh, that, that Chun Li. Okay, Nicki just broke. She's breaking records, man. She's had I want to say like eighty six songs on the Billboard charts. What's in your playlist, Chantel? In my playlist, it's Eminem, Framed. Mm. I, I, I love like Eminem. He it, is a lyrical genius. To Eminem me. definitely spits. And did you see him? He he just performed at Coachella last week, um, this past weekend. And do you know he signed guys from Buffalo, West Side Gun and Conway, Benny, who are my personal friends. Shout out to those guys. They're amazing. And they're, you know, Eminem signed them to a deal. What's in your playlist, Daryl? I don't really listen to music, but like whenever I do, I just... I listen to it in the car, and I guess my cousin now, she, my older cousin, whatever, she wanted me to listen to some Cardi B, right? Mm-hmm. And um, I don't know, I heard Cardi B just dropped a new album. Whatever. Yep, she just dropped the I don't album. I think it's appropriate, for real, for real, because um, whoever she was writing that song, those songs about it just. I don't know, but I mean, like, I like the song. She's got that Be Careful track, That's Hot. She's got another one, I Like It Like That. And I heard um, A Boogie new music. He came out with a little bit, something new. Mm. He's supposed to be going on tour soon. Yeah, A Boogie's coming to Rochester May 12th. May 12th at the Rochester Main Street Armory. Shout out to those guys, too. Yeah, shout out to Dem Pro, my boy Danny, because I'm going to that show. <laughs> Gary, what's in your playlist? 
He's NBA young boy. I hope he stays out of trouble. He's doing all right. I respect his grind, but he got to stay out of trouble. What you think? You think he's doing too much, or you think he he just young and having fun? What you think, Gary? Young and having fun, <laughs> and that's okay. Mm-hmm. Oh. See, and the influence, the amount of influence that he has on people, you know, is strong. He got to be a good role model. But again, when you're young, yes, you're having fun, but you're not going to be young forever. So the things that you do while you're young can follow you to when you become an adult. So that's what people kind of got to watch out for because he's been arrested. He's been possibly caught uh, beating on his girl. You know what I mean? That's going to follow him. That'll follow him So you gotta be careful But I, I feel you Young and having fun Ain't nothing wrong with that But And they gotta think about When you're in that position So many people Young people at that Are looking up to you So Be a good example I think that he shouldn't Have hit his girlfriend True that Nobody should be hitting anybody Keep your hands to yourself Respect each other Violence is not the answer It's not That's not a healthy relationship We're gonna talk about that In future episodes Healthy relationships And things uh, of that nature Definitely not a healthy relationship What you had to say G About that Even if it's play fighting You still don't need to hit a girl Right I agree Boys and men Are stronger than females By nature I mean I lift weights too But I know there are men That are physically Stronger than me And can hurt me But I've seen it Girls play and hitting dudes, slapping them. You hit him too hard, he's gonna hit you back. Then he was wrong. But respectable young men have been taught not to hit females. To avoid all that, I say everybody keep your hands to each, you know, yourself. Don't hit each other. Don't play fight. <laughs> <laughs> But I appreciate you guys for like sharing things about you. You guys have your aspirations. Y'all just keep reaching for them. Whatever you want to do. You know what I mean? Just figure out how you can get to that role. It's going to be hard. You got to put in that work. If you're expecting like anybody to give you anything, you're completely wrong. It's totally up to you to take responsibility for what you want to do in your life and how, you know, kind of how you want it to turn out. Any advice to help get people motivated? What I could say like is like, if you want to like make your parents proud, or you try to make somebody proud, like like you say, like if a family member dying and stuff, the only, if you want to keep like all you gotta do is just keep grinding. When you keep grinding, you're gonna achieve your goal. I read it takes 15 years for overnight success, so keep putting in that work. It's okay to fail sometimes because it's you're not always gonna be perfect, and if people suspect you to be as perfect as possible no one's perfect you can fail sometimes but never give up because you can do it you put your mind to it that's part of life a part of growth you learn from it don't let no one steal your joy keep up the good work and be yourself I like that G it's important to to be yourself know who you are and that's okay we all different we are, are alike in many ways too so if you don't got nobody to like do it for like do it for yourself like, I don't know. I just, I think that, like, you should go out there and achieve it, not for nobody else. Just do it for you. That's true words right there. We're going to leave it at that. Do it for yourself, for nobody else. It ain't for anybody but you. I'm Michelle Visa. Make sure you stay locked into the next episode of Teen Talk. Leave your comments at teentalkbuffalo at gmail.com. We'll talk to you soon. Peace and love.